Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I was asked a while ago to make a tutorial, some videos showing how I finish the bow's handles, how I wrap the handles, and the different ways that I do that. Here's one way. This is one of my favorite ways, especially for uh, doing it with a faux leather. This is a nice burgundy, which, or actually it might even be closer to a Kona brown. It looks almost the same shade as that spray can. Uh, I think it's a Valspar. I'm not sure what finish. No, Rust-Oleum. Anyway, looks really nice against there, and that'll be the perfect foil and finish for this bow's handle. First thing I do is I'll take the uh, the edge here and just measure about inch and a half. That's about right. A little bit more, a little bit less, doesn't really matter all that much. And then just try and cut as evenly as you can, although this isn't going to be super critical since you're going to be wrapping over a whole bunch of this. In other words, you're not going to see a lot of seam. What you're going to be doing is just wrapping all the way up this, the handle of the bow. We're going to be trimming the end when we determine how much excess material we have. And we're going to be gluing it in place as we go. When we're finished, we're going to go back and we're going to run over the edges, any seams that are showing with gold, with paint. Again, complements the paint scheme that we have going already with the leaves, the vine and leaves. So let's go ahead and see just f basically what we need to do starting, say, about here. Is that going to work? That's going to work just fine. Okay. Great. So this is the area that we want to cover, roughly speaking. So all I'm going to do, the only change I'm going to make, is to this last part here. I want to go and trim the end. Since it's going to be like this, we're going to take it from the corner here, maybe, and trim it down at an angle. So let's unwrap it. Okay some scissors and we can always change it later let's just see how that works for us so to get it started what I like to do is put a bead right on the edge here a bead of hot glue go to where you want to start I usually start in the front and push down all along that bead. Excess hot glue will squish out along the side. You can just pinch that off. And see, now it's sort of attached, so you can just rotate the, the actual bow itself in order to coat it, to uh, wrap it. So from this point on, I usually put the glue on the bow rather than on the wrap. So, see, like this. So then as I wrap, hold down on the last point you applied, pull it taut, and then smooth the glue out with your hands. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. There. So you're holding it tight over here, and you're pulling it over here, and you're smoothing it with your thumb. Great. So now, let's just continue that. Since I do want the edge to be fairly well held, I'm going to put a little bit of glue there too. Okay, so we're pulling. It's just kind of awkward because the tripod's sort of in the way of my arm. And now, we want to make sure that we're angled upward towards the uh, towards the other end that we're where we're going to be finishing you can pull it fairly tight and that'll help to to keep it laying flat so now we need to add some more glue let's say right all along here that should be fine let's move the camera there we go okay so like i said pull it tight 
angled, smooth it down with your thumb. There you go. Now we can continue on the other, other side, wrapping and gluing. You're always going to be overlapping just enough to cover the end. There you go. Wrap and smooth. So it's nice and tight and smooth. We're just at that awkward stage where it really would like to have another uh, stick of hot glue, but it can't fit. So again, apply glue. And I'm fairly generous with the glue. I find it adheres fairly well. If you use enough glue, I've never had the wrapping like this come off. Okay, doing really well now. Coming into the home stretch. I think we got one more. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Stick in the new hot glue stick and just keep on applying a little bit to the uh, next area that you're going to be wrapping. Grab it, pull it, smooth it. Good. Now here we are, we're coming right to the end and you see how the way I tapered it causes the end, even though it's still angled up here, causes the end to sit flush and even along the top. That's nice. Now that we know where it ends too, if you want, what we can do is cut in from that at an angle and that'll also help to just maintain a nice flow of the handle. So we can do that too. Let's go from the top corner here, inwards and downwards, like so. Now let's just wrap it again just to see how that looks. So you see, the handle wraps, 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 and it continues in that direction. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Got a little bit of hot glue that's fallen, just move that aside, don't worry too much about it. And if you get excess hot glue, you can wait till it cools and then just pick it off. It just comes right off. If you want, you can also heat it with a hot a heat gun and then just smear it, pick it, do whatever. There are different ways to remove it. Okay, this is good. Ready for another rotation. Pull it taut and smooth it. Great. Okay, more of the same. Pull it, smooth it. it and smooth it and see there you go that's coming right into the final wrap at this point I do tend to apply the hot glue to the actual wrapping rather than to the bow handle I find that gives me a tiny bit more time to apply it and a little bit more control with where the glue goes I want it to be squished right out to the edges to hold it down all the better. So like right there, see how it's, there's no glue? Just put a nice bead in the center, take off any excess, hold it down. You don't want too much to squish out the sides because that'll necessitate a cleanup. Put it right there, see? Nice. What you can do now, if you really just want to make sure that the edges don't come up, is go to this seam right here, the edge, and apply a little bead of super glue along the top or along the edges here. I can show you that right now. This is the 
Easton Quick Bond that I've been using not only to apply fletches, but I've been using this for a whole bunch of other things too. It's very useful because it's a little bit more viscous than your average than your average super glue. So put a bead right there. And if you really want that's that's more than enough, but you could just continue around and down just a tiny bit. That'll set. You may want to lightly, lightly go over it with some sandpaper or a little steel wool just to make sure you didn't create a burr that'll rub on the hand. But that should prevent that from lifting. And now once this is all done, I'll just take a bit of gold paint, usually just a paint pen, and I'll line the top, the edge. Basically every time you see a, a seam or an edge, I'm going to line that with gold. It will look smashing. So. That's that. This is how I've been doing it for a lot of my bows, and I think the results are pretty darn nice. They're not perfect, but it's good. So that's my basic uh, leather, false leather handle wrap, although I have done leather the same way. Thanks for watching, YouTube.